Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be spending some time talking about Rocket League and how I believe Psyonix could double their player base in one huge update. I will attempt to sum this up quickly and with as much information as possible. At this time, at 2.45 p.m. Eastern on March 12, 2019, there are approximately 308,094 people playing Rocket League online. This is according to the Rocket League Tracker site, and it's going to be doubled with one huge update. With the suggestion of Rocket League Private Matches V2, this could double Rocket League's player base altogether. Rocket League has always been one of the most unique, balanced games among all competitive games. However, when Psyonix permanently introduced the game modes Snow Day on February 10th, 2016, Hoops on April 25th, 2016, Rumble on September 8th, 2016, and then finally Drop Shot on March 22nd, 2017. Psyonix added three beautiful game modes to Rocket League, which instantly made some of us creative people think of our amazing ideas and ways we could appreciate being able to bring them to life. This brings me to talk about Private Matches V2. A suggestion for Psyonix. Rocket League with the help of workshop map creators like French Fries, Lethmere, and many others have found that there's so much possibility and creativity in the Rocket League community. There could be such great potential for new game modes, new maps, and new custom games. Private Matches V2 would allow all platforms to play online custom games together or otherwise known as workshop maps. As you would select any other game mode just like soccer, hoops, snow day, or rumble. Now many of you have seen this great workshop map and game mode, volleyball. Imagine how much better Rocket League would be with the availability of game modes and maps even crazier than volleyball. Being able to just quickly select beer pong and load up into a game with friends, from another platform and just play. These mini games would provide such a refreshing feel to the game with new ways to play Rocket League every single day. This update would not only come out with a way to play custom games across all platforms, this update would allow all of us to create our ideas with a whole new level design editor allowing creative people in the Rocket League community to create new maps and bring their ideas to life without having to study the current system in place for weeks and weeks. This will allow for so many more people to be willing to take the time and create something awesome. Now let's take a look at Halo 5's Forge. This was created on a console using a controller. Imagine being able to edit ramps, sidewalls, and goals wherever you want, adding obstacles or scenery like trees, rocks, and different terrain. Imagine having this kind of control on what you place around the map and with this kind of ease. Rocket League Forge or Rocket League Workshop Editor or Rocket League Level Editor. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is the amount of people that would pick up this game after seeing this is a parkour community. This is a speedrunning community. This is a mini game community and this is a forge community. It doesn't have any limits on what it could mean for this Rocket League community. The ideas are endless with Private Matches V2. In this case, Halo has been known for having a forge mode as the community always comes up with unique ideas. And in this case, a toilet infection mini game where the infected are jumping out of the toilet and trying to infect you. Imagine what we could do with Rocket League. Now I want you guys to understand the success that this has had with another game as well. Many of you have probably heard of Warcraft 3. This game was released on July 3rd, 2002, and there was nothing that could even come close to touching a game of its kind. Warcraft 3 also had a level design and map editor. Like no other game, it gave ability to create maps in hours or even minutes. One of the most well-known custom games being the original Dota. Some of you may know that Dota 2 was based on a game 
that was created in Warcraft 3 level design. They modded the game mode and made it blow up overnight because of the love for the game that Blizzard allowed their creative community to make. Because of the great success of these custom games, Blizzard really hasn't had to provide any huge content updates for the past 15 years or so. The game is slowly, slowly dying in popularity. However, it's been out for over 15 years, and it's coming out with a remastered version later this year. A game like Warcraft 3 shows you the exact reason why a feature like this could be so important in a game like Rocket League. Now let's be honest with ourselves and understand that Psyonix has no reason to release a Rocket League number 2 like other games, which most of us are completely fine with. My suggestion to Psyonix is to think of the amount of players that would pick up the game after seeing some of these creative mini games. Think about it. Psyonix currently only makes money from people when they either buy fairly cheap, well, they either buy the fairly cheap game or spend money on in-game items like the Batmobile or some keys. The higher the player base, the more in-game items and cosmetics that sell. The fact that this update would have the opportunity to at least double its player base has me wondering. They haven't released a new game mode since Dropshot on March 22nd, 2017. Unless you include the most recent curveball, I also understand Psyonix is a pretty small company compared to, you know, say Blizzard or Bungie or 343 Industries. However, Psyonix can now pull some of their resources off the fight for cross-platform play as they have finally won that battle. If I were Psyonix, I know exactly where I'd be spending my resources and what big update I would come out with next. I think most of us agree that Psyonix would not have to go as far as Warcraft 3 and Halo, and I'm sure we would all be happy with the outcome. We need to look at some of these trends. Taking advantage of some of their creative users will only help make the unique game of Rocket League even more unique. I hope we all realize how big of an update this would be. Private Matches V2 would not only be the best update to date, but the biggest update to date. It has unlimited potential. Understanding that creating a level editor with online multiplayer working custom games would make Rocket League's popularity and overall replayability increase substantially. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from today, and I hope you guys will take the time to subscribe and give your feedback below. Thanks.